Hey guys, welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. So this video is the continuation of my last video where I was talking about feature selection techniques in Python. Okay. So I had explained one method known as filter method. In this video, I'm going to explain you and show the Python demo of wrapper method and embedded method. So all these are different, different buckets of feature selection. In one bucket, there are different, different techniques. So we will be discussing what are there in wrapper techniques and what are there in embedded bucket of techniques, right? So let's start guys without any further delay. Now wrapper technique, I gave some hint in the last video itself. Wrapper technique is basically a technique where you wrap features together, okay? Wrap features together and try to find out which combination of feature is working good for you, okay? And what is embedded method, method guys? In embedded method, you generally use machine learning models to choose your features. Here in embedded, in wrapper also sometimes you use model, but in embedded method, you actually run a machine learning model, you train the model and then you see which feature is making sense. We will see the difference in a moment, okay? But first of all, let's try to understand what does wrapper mean, right? So guys, Suppose you have, let's say, F1, okay, F2, okay, F3, okay, F4, and F5, five features. Now you want to do a feature selection. You don't know which feature is good for your model, which feature is not good for your model. So what the wrapper technique will do is, it will create a combination of feature to see how the performance is coming out. For example, it can combine F1, F3, and F4, and try to fit a model and see how this combination is working, okay? Or else it can F2 and F4 combination, it can, you know, send to a model and see how the performance is coming out. So different combinations based here, I created a three feature combination here, I created a two feature combination. So how these combinations are created, that is a critical part to understand, okay? So let me explain you guys how these combinations are created. There are basically three ways, three approaches, okay? One approach is known as forward selection approach, okay? Other approach is known as backward selection approach, okay? And third approach is known as bi-directional, which means it is forward and backward both, okay? In terms of feature selection, how do you select the feature? Now, if I talk of forward selection, guys, what happens in forward selection is one feature first the model will be fit on a null feature set which means there will not be any feature in the first iteration or first model you can take it as the base model in the next iteration one feature at a random will be taken f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 any one feature will be taken for simplicity let us assume that feature is f5 okay in the next iteration, what will happen is, so in, in this iteration, in second iteration only, F5 will be run, then F4 will be run, F3 will be run, F2 will be run, and F1 will be run. In the next iteration, with F5, all the combination, once F5 and F1, then F5 and F2, then F5 and F3, then F5 and F4, like that combinations will be run. So let's say F5, F3 is run, just for example. And next iteration, one more feature will be added. So what you are seeing is in the forward direction, in the forward direction, the algorithm is adding one, one feature. And hence this method is known as forward selection or addition of features. I will show you in Python how it is working in a moment, just to give you a theory or practice, um, you know, theoretical explanation of how it is. One feature, it will start with empty blank, zero features. It will go to one feature then two features, then three features, and then to all the features, okay? Or wherever the criteria is met. Remember guys, this one feature, when I say this one feature, right? This, I have written here F5, but it will be run for F3, F4, F2, F1, all. And whatever is best, that will be picked. Best in terms of accuracy score or whatever criteria you give. When I say F5 plus F3 here, do not take it literally. It will be tested on F5 plus F4, F5 plus F1, F5 plus, plus F2 and so on and so forth. Whichever is best will be chosen. And then in the next iteration, 
one new feature will be tried to fit with this okay so that is how it will work now try to understand how backward selection will work okay in backward selection what will happen is suppose we have five features okay so there will be let's say one model on f1 plus f2 plus f3 plus f4 okay one model will be fit on this one model will be fit on f1 plus f3 plus f4 plus f5 one model will be fit on f1 this time we will leave f4 out f2 plus f3 plus f5 okay and this time we will leave f5 out f1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and in one iteration f1 only will be left out f2 plus f3 plus f4 plus f5 so how many models we are running here guys five models total this is your one iteration one iteration okay so how many models you are running five models out of these five models whichever the best comes in terms of result right that you take to the next stage for example let us say this goes to the next stage okay and then out of this again you remove one one feature for example one will be f2 plus f3 plus f5 other can be f1 plus f2 plus f3 and so on and so forth okay and at the moment you get a combination of three features which gives you the best score for example if you are looking for three features right then you say that f2 plus f3 plus f5 is the best combination of my features so in both these examples one thing you notice guys we are wrapping multiple features inside a kind of wrapping paper okay and then sending it to the model to decide which feature is working best for my model and hence whatever i explained you is called wrapper based technique okay and this bidirectional is a combination of forward and backward where model can drop the feature or add the feature based on the need okay i'm going to show you all these in python and if we talk of embedded right in embedded uh, it is actually training the model and while training the model finding out which feature is working best for you okay for example when you fit a random forest model or when you fit a ridge regression or when you fit an elastic net right so you get some idea about which feature is working good which feature is more meaningful which feature is more valuable for you right based on that you choose your features now let's go to python guys and see some examples of how these things are implemented okay so first of all you have to in, uh, install a package called, called ml extend guys if you don't have some of you might face little issue in ml extend try to do it with pip3 it will not be an issue run this and from ml extend you have to import something known as feature selection and from feature selection you have to import something known as sequential feature selector you remember i was explaining now forward selection backward selection all those will happen through sequential feature selector okay so i'm importing as sfs and then you have to import one model i'm importing here k nearest neighbors okay you can import any other model if you want to use that in this place okay and then one simple data iris data source and target number of neighbors four you can make it two three whatever and here you say i'm importing it twice no need to do this okay so sfs KNN model I'm taking number how many features I want three features forward is equal to false forward false means I want to use a backward selection first let me show you the forward selection first okay make it true okay floating is false I will tell you in a moment what is floating scoring is accuracy and cross validation let me make it zero to start with now let's run this if I run this guys you will see that the model uh, what I'm saying to the model is you can choose three features okay how many features i am telling model to choose three features okay i am saying forward is equal to true means do the forward propagation which means start with one feature then take the two feature combination and then find the three feature combination okay and scoring criteria i am taking accuracy cross validation i am not doing and once i do that and i plot the result in a panda data frame this is very important guys see this here feature id is three feature so first it took one feature petal width okay 
as as i was showing you in the theory video one feature it took then it took one feature two feature combination okay so this entire thing is one iteration iteration number 2 the output is this petal length petal width iteration number 3 the output is this sepal length petal length petal width uh, sepal width petal length petal width okay so it started with one feature that it went to two feature then it went to three features because i am saying give me three features now let me say give me two features in forward selection let's do this it will give you two features and best feature combination is feature number 2 and feature number 3 this is what your forward selection starting with feature number 2 and then the model is saying you you know what uh, petal width and petal length are the best combination for your model okay and here i can change few parameters okay for example here i can make forward is equal to false which means it will go for backward um, backward way backward method which means it will start with all the features then go with reducing the feature let's see this see here it is starting with three all three features okay all four features basically then going to three features combination of four features combination of three features combination of two features in the end you are asking for two features hence it is giving you two features this is your score okay and this is your this is your cross validation score this is your average score because i have made the cross validation as zero if i make it cross validation as two you will see two different scores in cross validation see here cross validation first time score second time score first time score second time score and this is your average score the the concept is same same thing is happening here okay now guys you need to understand the other parameters here right so as you saw cross validation is equal to 2 means i want to do the cross validation also and how many times two times suppose three then three cross validation if you don't know cross validation concept guys there is a video you can watch it the link is right here okay and uh, scoring i am taking accuracy you can take any other scoring as well forward backward you understood k features means how many features you want as the output here i am saying to give me two features if i say give me three features it will give me three features see this it started from four and now it is giving me three features which three features these three features okay and this floating if you make this true right then what it will do is it will do a bi directional collection of features it can go it it will remove one feature it can add that back as well for example if you see like this here i am here there is only four features in this data set not much scope for addition and removal but if you do for a larger data set right and if you make floating is equal to true then it will give you you know combination of features sometimes it will add sometimes it will remove so this is also one one option you can check and you can you know use it so we have covered the wrapper method uh, forward selection backward selection and bi directional selection okay you can test with some other data before that i want you to must have a look at this link here guys check this page i will i will upload this in in uh, my google drive you can obviously take this link this link is nothing but ml extend where where from i have taken all these examples is that same page only okay so ml extend feature selection there are some interesting things you can plot the feature you can visualize it in better way um you can do cross validation you can run some other models many things you can do okay so this is one section of this what i wanted to cover forward backward and bidirectional you must have heard about something known as recursive feature elimination if not there is a video on unfold data science guys link is here this is an important concept you must watch now what is recursive feature elimination recursive feature elimination is very similar to backward selection only one difference in recursive feature elimination the criteria to remove the features is coefficients of the model or from internally it is decided but here you are saying take the knn model and then decide you are give passing your model okay but in recursive feature elimination it will happen automatically through the rfe or rfecb method in python okay so for example here if you can see i have imported the code of recursive feature elimination right so these are common things i have loaded the boston data and then i am saying that do the recursive feature elimination see here sklearn this comes from sklearn not from ml extend 
so sql and feature selection rfe and rfe comes with other flavor known as rfe cv okay so recursive feature elimination you can run here i am running linear regression you can run any other model also okay and then if i run this right entire thing you will see that in boston data six features it's giving me as output number of features six so wherever you see one right it is telling me those features are making sense for me i should use those features okay and uh, you can use other version of rfp called rfp cv and you can say cross validation you can how many times you want to do cross validation let's say two times you can write that here and it will run with a cross validation score okay so cross validation simple concept right it will hold out some set and test on that set so this is about recursive feature elimination very very similar to backward selection just a minor difference in how it um, chooses the variable to throw out okay so this is about recursive feature elimination now i want to explain you something regarding uh, embedded methods which is like using models to choose the feature so this is also easy to understand guys if you see i am importing from sql learn lasso lasso is a regression element l2 there is a video on for data science you can watch that okay and lasso that fit x train y train is nothing but from the boston data set and this is your prediction and then you see your errors right and coefficient estimate and in coefficient estimate obviously wherever you see a very very low value for example this one right you understand that this this a uh, particular variable is not very useful for you and you remove that variable that is why it is known as embedded embedded means you are training the actual model you are doing the actual task and deciding which feature is not useful for you this is one ridge method guys uh, lasso method there are two more things one is called ridge regression and one is called elastic net this is an assignment for you to check that you must check that okay similar ways slide difference if you have confusion what l1 and l2 video okay and one last thing in embedded method i want to cover here guys a random forest to select feature very very simple you take random forest and random forest automatically gives you the feature importance right plot that feature importance and see which feature is least important for example here if you notice here chas is coming very low zn is coming low you know rad is coming low so all these features where importance is low right these features are kind of less important for you you can consider the removal of these features okay so what all we covered guys we understood the theory behind wrapper method forward backward bidirectional we did that in python we understood the theory behind rfe that i had explained before as well you can watch that video for reference also and then we saw some methods for embedded please explore ridge and elastic net that also is useful for feature selection and reduction take this file from the google drive try with your own data try all the methods filter wrapper embedded see what is working best for your use case please give me a thumbs up guys if you like this video drop me all your comments see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care